Monica, I know that you spoke to a lot of famous people in putting this book together, people like Kathleen Turner, mm. Chris Christie, yeah. um, you know, all kinds of people. Were you surprised how many of those people have real issues with food? You know, I wasn't. I was surprised at how open people were with me, and I think it's because I, I open up too. And I think it's time to sort of stop pretending that for skinny women, it's just easy. It just happened. This is how we are. As we mentioned, this one of your closest friends, she was dangerously overweight. Mm -hmm. So you challenged each other, and she basically said, you're an emotional eater. You've got serious eating issues and food issues. Obviously, I do. So how did you decide to team up and do something about it? Well, uh, after we got through the, the tough moments, which we can talk about with her, um, you know, she said, you ought to write a book. People don't know this about you, because I had talked about some of my issues and been really raw and open about it. And I said, yes, um, but you should too. And I'll pay you to lose weight and help me with this book. And you pen a chapter in it documenting your story and don't hold back. Why don't we just see how Diane is doing? This is Diane, the way she looked when you all first embarked on this project. Mm -hmm. Diane, come on out. Hi. There's a lot less. How are you? So nice to meet. I feel like I know you. Thank you. Have a seat. Great to see you. First of all, a lot less I, of her. yes, there a is. Lot less. I mean, there. I mean, I hate to be this to be the first question out of my mouth, but of course, <laughs> everyone's thinking, "Wow, you look great." How much weight have you lost? Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five yep. pounds. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> exactly our deal. That's your deal. Yeah. Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds. But now Mika has inspired me, and uh, the people I've worked with in losing the weight have inspired me. So I want to lose another twenty-five. Wow. So well, you're, that's, you're my, do, well, that's my you, summer project. Well, good luck and keep us posted on that. I Meanwhile, will. what was it like, Diane, for you when Mika had that talk with you that day? Well, the first words she said were, you're fat and you're obese. And nobody had ever said that to me. And of course, I knew it. I live in a house with mirrors. I knew what I looked like. But nobody had ever used those words to me. And at first, it felt like a slap in the face. But she followed it right up by saying, I love you. I can't let your weight kill you. I want you to be here for me and my daughters, and we have to do something about this. And then when she shared what she was going through, and I realized that it wasn't so easy for her, that she wasn't this skinny woman that I always thought had no problems with keeping her weight off, I realized that she really, really meant it. And she said to me, I'm going to be with you every step of the way.